you, you answered about Bitcoin, but I'll ask the maybe the educational part of this. Um, you know, typically, Bitcoin's make, making uh, higher lows. Its yep. range is tightening, and typically, higher lows would be a red flag. Um, uh, is that is that bullish? And, and is am I thinking about that correctly? Yeah, you are thinking about it correctly. So, what we want to do here, and I'm going to give you maybe I'm in a hell of a good mood here this morning. Um, I'm excited. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to have some more stock picks to put on the board uh, as soon as that market opens and when I get out of this show. But uh, I got to get, okay, so I'm going to get a sneak peek here on the Bitcoin product, the data that we have on this thing. Okay, so one, what you just said is absolutely true, okay? Uh, if it wasn't, I'd say no, as you know. Uh, but again, a higher low and a tightening range, that was a very good observation. Who was that? Um, J, uh, J. Jay-Z. All right, so you got uh, top end of the range is a lower high, the bottom end of the range is, is a higher low. That's not a bad thing that it's a lower high, especially that the risk range is tightening. Why? That means that the volatility is coming out. Canadian accent, out. However you want to say it, out. Okay. So if we look at Bitcoin, uh, this is a daily Bitcoin. Uh, is, wait, you guys see this thing? Look at this thing. It's going to be the daily Bitcoin quant product. See, that says, I don't, we're going to make it look better, but you know, I don't actually look at anything else other than while I looked tremendous with that bow on my head, I don't really care about, like, I look, I look at the data, okay? So, um, so yesterday's coin volume on the down day, for example. So if we look at it relative to everything else. Coin volume yesterday for, for Bitcoin, let's get this SBCF out of here uh, for a second. Not out of your portfolio, but again, uh, we look at something like, which, just like anything else. So what am I going to tell you that I care about? I care about the price of Bitcoin. I care about the volume of Bitcoin. And I care about what? The volatility of Bitcoin. So again, we got vol of Bitcoin, not volume vol. So if I look at the, the, the correction day yesterday, the volume was minus 39.7% on a day over day basis. Again, I challenge, it's nothing against hodlers and maxis and non maxis. I am about awareness. It's not supposed to offend you. If you wanted to know why you'd be getting more aggressive in Bitcoin today, you'd prefer to know that number. If that number was plus 40%, that would not be good, okay? That means that there's a lot of people selling, okay? A lot more. You're getting a correction in price with a real decline in volume, okay? That means that the hodlers ain't, the hodlers are hodling, okay? They ain't selling. Uh, the next point is on volatility. Now, 30-day realized volatility, uh, which is what I care about. So if we go back to our eyeball table this morning, which by the way, I should have pointed out, uh, this is exciting, right? You got an implied volatility premium of 16% um, for, uh, for SPIs. You got 35% in there for consumer discretionary and 15% for, for XLK. Uh, Bitcoin, which has been rare, now has an implied volatility discount, IVOL, let's do this part of it, of what? I'm sure every maxi could tell you this, but just because I want to make sure that you know too, uh, is minus 5%. So they have an implied volatility discount there. That's, again, that's way better than what it's been, okay? If you look at the rate of change of that, which is the whole point of this, it's been an implied volatility discount of 15, 20, 25%. So after today's move, that's probably gonna pop to an implied volatility premium, but you will have been buying Bitcoin on the way. And again, like I said, it's not quite at the low end of the range yet. So don't be like a pig, 25 basis points of your capital at a time, that's how you do it. Um, so again, uh, really interesting. The other thing that's also interesting is that Bitcoin's correlations are starting to pick up versus the S&P. It's got a plus 0.87 to the S&P. So from here, if we get stocks right, we're gonna get Bitcoin right because it's the same thing, okay? And, and I know you know that it's not the same thing and that might trigger you or affect you, but it's okay. You know, Pappy is not the same as Bullet. I like Bullet, I like Pappy. But if you gave me one or the other, I would take Pappy, okay? It's okay, Bullet people, you know? It's because if I go to a hockey tournament, they're not gonna have Pappy, they're gonna have Bullet because hockey people are like me, right? They're men of the people, we're not the elite people. But if you wanna be with the elite people, you're gonna, how much is this per glass? It's like $150 a shot, I think. Well, that would be with the elite people. You know, they're gonna serve that at, uh, uh, what is the place, Davos. 